Good afternoon, Jeff Raspi here with you. It's a few minutes after five o'clock on this gorgeous Monday afternoon. And uh, in in place of Fox, who would normally be doing traffic and weather right now, uh, I've got the band Seneca in the room. How are you guys? Good, good. Happy Very to be here after thanks. Long Island traffic. Glad <laughs> that traffic and weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for all that help with the traffic and weather, Fox. <laughs> yeah. We were uh, listening. We never heard it. Never heard anything <laughs> about the traffic you were in. I know. Exactly. I told Fox to look some of that stuff up, but he <laughs> just refused to do it. There you go. Um, he kept talking about stuff that was down here. I'm like, they're not down here yet. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we contributed to some of the traffic jam, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can't park your car across three lanes? <laughs> van? What, you drive on the right? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you guys do too. No, not, no, no Ireland's on the left? We drive on the left. Ah. We, dr we drive the, the left Correct. way around. <laughs> so you're not only on the wrong side of the road, you're on the wrong side of the car exactly. here yeah. in America. We drive in reverse in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the cars go backwards up the road. <laughs> uh, we've got Seneca in the studio with me, and they're going to be at the Saints tonight. It's, uh, it's the, the cavalcade of, of guests the last couple of weeks have all been playing... Uh, over at the Saint and uh, Seneca are today's special guest. Um, <laughs> uh, and before I forget, I should uh, pass along a hello from uh, a band called the Sunday Blues, one of our new favorite bands here on the Jersey Shore, who uh, I believe played with you guys last night at Arlene Grocery. And one yeah. of our new favorite bands from the Jersey Shore. <laughs> we saw them kick ass at Arlene's Grocery last night. So, yeah, cool. Really cool. Awesome. So uh, I would expect to see you guys out there tonight. And by you guys, I mean the Sunday Blues. Um, <laughs> and everybody associated with them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, family. Because it, uh, it'll be fun. It's, it's a gorgeous day. Yeah, you guys beautiful. really lucked out. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you get down to uh, Asbury in time to uh, at least take one short trek over to the beach. Hopefully, hopefully. And, uh, as you, as, although, as you can see, we're very, very tanned, so we don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> Being from Ireland, we... You know, very sallow skin, so <laughs> the, well, it's, we don't need any more. Sunshine. Actually, it's it's funny you say that because I I for years have been telling this story. Um, uh, my friend Stephen uh, many years ago was playing with Mundy. Okay. Uh, okay. Stephen, the hex's last name, uh, but he was in Mundy's band uh, for quite a long time, and he they were playing Arlene Grocery uh, six, seven, eight. Nine years ago, or something like that, at this point, mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, they were they had spent the day on the beach in Long Island, <laughs> and came back <clears throat> red as lobsters, <laughs> except Stephen. Lobsters on South Beach. <laughs> <laughs> except Stephen, he was still white as a sheet, and he said, "But I don't tan. There's there's no reason for me to sit out in the sun. I don't <laughs> tan. I'm blue." And he actually lifted up his shirt, and his skin is so thin that you can actually see the blue of his veins. Okay. Was, I was like, wow, <laughs> you really are blue. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. Keep the shirt on. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Back on. <laughs> um, but uh, you've got a brand new album. Well, actually, it's not brand new. It's brand new to us. Yeah, it's, well, it's in new the States. to you guys. Yeah, but um, hopefully you all get to hear it. But uh, we'll be going into the studio this September to cut a new album as well with Noel from the Cranberries, so that'll be fun. Oh, cool. So you'll yeah, be hearing about that early next year. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, because that, that was one of the things I wanted to ask you. That, uh, um, and, and I've actually had this conversation with a number of people who've uh, put out records uh, either in Europe, in England, or in Ireland, uh, and then it takes, for whatever reason, it takes a year, 18 months, two years to find a home here in the States. Yeah. And then, of course, you have to do all the stuff that follows that, like come to the States and tour and go to radio stations and promote it. And the whole time, you've got an entire album's worth of stuff in the, in your mind that you'd rather play and rather talk about. But... Uh, well, we play it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go with the norm? Which And you're absolutely more than welcome to play some of those brand new songs tonight or today here at the studio. Um okay. If if you got it in yet, <laughs> I know I know the the band didn't bring any of their stuff. I brought my air, air guitar. Yeah, <laughs> the, other than Rob, the band didn't bring any of their stuff except their voices. Yeah. Well, um, we didn't want to pack up the studio with a bunch of amps and drum kits and everything <laughs> like. <so. laughs> Which has been done, but we could you know 
it's it's not easy and uh, <laughs> loud and it gets loud and confusing and stuff like that um <laughs> <laughs> strip down strip down's better yeah the strip down version is cool um which coincidentally enough is actually the name of a song by Butch Walker and the Black Widows which I was supposed to be playing right now <laughs> the strip down version but I'm not going to because you guys are here okay um now what would uh let's let's actually play something off the album uh first the new album sweeter than bourbon um, and it's a song that I guess is technically the single here and there. Okay. Clarity? Yeah. yeah. Um, although that's not the song we've been playing here because mm-hmm. as I said to you when you guys arrived, we don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> that's fair enough. Neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> we tend to be a bit belligerent about stuff like that. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. We actually just liked Marks and that's why we played it. Um, which is not to say we didn't like any of the others, but we chose Marks. Um, and hopefully people don't mind. And usually they don't. We don't mind. You know, <laughs> as, as some of my friends say, airplay is airplay. It's all good. There you go. Um, so let's play Clarity off of the album Sweeter Than Bourbon. This is Seneca, 90.5 The Nights, Brookdale Public Radio. I'm Arnold Fosloo. As an actor, I've had many fight scenes. But now as an environmentalist, I'm in a real fight. The fight to protect threatened and endangered wildlife. Each year, millions of people travel to exotic locations to have encounters with the world's dwindling populations of wild animals. Sadly, many tourists take more than just memories back home with them from these trips. They take souvenirs made from the very animals they sought to see, including bracelets made from elephant ivory, fur rugs made from big cats such as tigers, jaguars and cheetahs, jewelry made from shark's teeth and even trinkets made from the shells of sea turtles. What you may not know is that thousands of wild animals are killed to make these souvenirs. Join me in supporting IFOR's campaign to end this cruelty and to keep wildlife where it belongs, in the wild. You can make a difference. Please sign our online pledge today and think twice. Don't buy wildlife souvenirs. Here are the low monthly payments and interest rate as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this is really just here so that we get your house when you can't pay us back. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. This is fine. Thanks. Redefine your world. Join the Peace Corps. Apply now at peacecorps.gov. Music from Seneca here on 90.5 tonight. That one's called Clarity, and that is technically the single from the new album, Sweeter Than Bourbon. Uh, What is Sweeter Than Bourbon? We're trying to figure that out. We're (laughs) down in New Orleans. Southern Comfort, maybe. (laughs) Southern Comfort is sweeter than almost everything. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) (laughs) To the point where I can't even smell it anymore without... uh, When you drink so much, a gag reflex. If you just drink so much, you can't even smell it anymore, then you know it's... Well, there's there's that, and maybe that's my problem from... (laughs) You know, <laughs> some some horrible night in high school with Southern Comfort. 
Ooh. Yeah. yeah, that was that's that's not one that I like to see anymore. <laughs> We've had a few of those with with the Jameson. Uh, only, <laughs> since, only since we got here, people insist we drink it because we're Irish. And Absolutely, we don't drink it. So I'm t- I peer uh, pressure. <laughs> I would agree with them. Yes, we always succumb to peer pressure. <laughs> pressure always. <laughs> And we have to live up to that Irish stereotype as well. <laughs> <laughs> like Guinness and Jameson. We have to live up to that one because we don't want to live up to the artistic... Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not true. Sweeter Than Bourbon is, is a wonderful album. Thank you um, And that is, So actually, we kind of alluded to the fact that it's, it's to you, quote-unquote, old. But to the rest of us, it's, <clears throat> it's brand new. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're already planning on uh, this fall going in and recording a follow-up. Yeah. Um, so what what was what was the delay? I think I know the answer to this anyway. But <laughs> what was the delay for the benefit of listeners out there uh, in getting it out here in the states? Um, of getting the first album out here in the states. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, basically, just logistics. <laughs> Trying to get it off the ground at home first, and then bring it over here and get everything going along with it, like the touring and press and Yeah, because e- even at home, it's an indie release. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, not, you know, big label or anything like that. No. Bringing no. it over here wasn't the hard part. <laughs> Bringing us over here was. <laughs> yes. so. The visa. Yes. Is nice and lovely. We love it. <laughs> but you're here. We're here. Maybe not for as long as you'd like. No. But if oh, you be- We'd if, like to stay here forever. If you behave yourselves, you can always come back. Okay. Jameson and Guinness. I'll repeat what I said earlier. <laughs> if we behave ourselves, or just don't get caught. Exactly. <laughs> We've managed to avoid arrest so far. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But uh, I, I actually, I was uh, looking at your uh, Facebook page earlier. I think you've been visited or, or visiting a number of uh, police stations on your uh, journey around. Well, they've been visiting us at oh, yeah. numerous locations yeah. around Baltimore, for example, where we had our van broken into. Yeah. <laughs> some of our stuff robbed, our GPS. We were hoping that some GPS company might come up with a design whereby everyone that steals it is directed back to the cop station. But <laughs> or it's a GPS. You'd think they'd be able to track where it's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's my GPS. I'm not going that way. Or we have a remote self-destruct button on it. With ah, there you go. A lot of explosives in some small little GPS. <laughs> <laughs> well, that 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 uh, always makes me think of now uh, the the Seinfeld show was on in Ireland, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. There was there was one episode where Jerry's car got stolen, <clears throat> so he called this the uh, the car phone. This was the uh, this was actually before cell phones. He called the car okay. phone, and the person answered it, and he, said, "Hi, did you steal my car?" <laughs> 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 and the guy couldn't argue. He's like. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Could, could I have it back? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Seneca are here in the studio with us today, and uh, I believe since Rob is the only one who brought in an instrument, that uh, he's going to try and play something or a couple of things for one. us without the band. Clarity was totally acoustic. I'm just really, I'm that good. I can play drums, electric guitar, and acoustic. On and multiple acoustic vocals. Guitar. By yeah. miming. By miming. <laughs> I'm in a glass box. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if uh, Marx was the one you wanted to play. Yeah, well, considering first. it, you guys seem to like it here, I was thinking we it would be a perfectly apt song to do. Absolutely. And it's, as we said off the air, it's one of the ones you can do without everybody else. <clears throat> Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Racking our brains here. But doesn't here sound go. as good without the rest of us, but... I'm sure it doesn't. Yeah. We'll you know. mime. <laughs> Get your drumsticks ready. Don't the, the, the guys are picking up their violins and cellos. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go. Seneca here on 90.5 The Night, Brookdale Public Radio. you change your ways, I for one would truly be amazed But what would be gained when all is said and done? One night the dark 
Crowded out the filth in the park We had the time of our lives until the sun came up Now there would be marks that grow from raging hearts Grow slowly as time goes on Take care that I could never truly be satisfied Until the weight of the world no longer held my thoughts Against all the odds When awful times were the norm for us And I would stake my own life that we were never lost In the hardest times Write the most worthwhile lines In this verse I write my one Excellent. It's the first time the rest of the band have ever clapped. <laughs> I demand every oh. gig now. <laughs> Odds of a child becoming a professional athlete are 1 in 16,000. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, 1 in 166. The odds say it's time to listen. To learn the signs of autism, visit autismspeaks.org. You know how it happens at home. Walking on carpet creates a static charge that sparks when you touch something. The same thing can happen at the gas pump. Drivers who slide back into the seat when waiting for the tank to fill create static electricity, which may spark when they touch the nozzle. While it's extremely rare, static-related fires at the gas pump can happen at any time of year, especially during the fall and winter months when the air is cool and dry. To avoid static fires at the pump, follow these tips. Stay outside your vehicle when you fill up. If you must get back in your car while refueling, touch a metal part of the vehicle with your bare hand before you go back to the nozzle. Here are some additional safe refueling guidelines. Turn off your engine. Don't smoke. Don't top off your tank to avoid spilling fuel. If you're pumping gasoline into an approved portable container, place it on the ground to avoid a possible static electricity ignition of fuel vapors. For more information about safe refueling, visit api.org or pei.org. Trying to catch hepatitis C? Not sure where to start. Well, you know you can get infected without even having to try. Remember that time you borrowed my razor? Or how about that time you went and got a tattoo? <laughs> even though I told you it would hurt. Or how about that time we went on holiday? 
that holiday. <coughs> no, not that holiday either. You know, the one where you borrowed my toothbrush. Well then, what are you moping for? It hasn't got any symptoms. How do you know you haven't got it already? Have you been tested? Well then, go on. Well, what do you know? You've done it! Now who feels like a clever boy? What gets you moving? Because when you get moving an hour a day, you fuel your body and your mind. Whether you like to throw around the football, play frisbee in the park, or dance in your room. Moving every day helps give you a healthy body and mind. And that makes you part of a winning team. Hey, that was my line. Get up and play an hour a day, Doc. Check out how to be a player at letsmove.gov. Head online to get tips on great ways to get moving every day. That's www.letsmove.gov. Yvonne is coughing up a lung here and we're going to make her sing again because um, you guys are ready to play another song for us Yeah, well, and, and we would appreciate you doing that I trade in my right hand For a packet of cigarettes We have a past But I'll trade you for another glass Or even a shot of some success Did I mention this before? Your eyes would make heaven at the floor Something tells me that you should be mine Does it mean much over the phone? Surely it beats being alone Something tells me you see through my life Than bourbon. I know that, I know that Nothing is sweeter than knowing That you said, you said I am always on your mind Why is that such a crime? City. City. You are one of the few, one of the few. You make me like living, 